Welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. I'm here with the world champion of the $15,000 Novice Division, and that's Mike Wood, who won on El Gato Benito. Great name. Uh, El Gato Benito. It's, oh. uh, <laughs> that's my Australian <laughs> coming through, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that means the pretty cat. Oh, great name. So um, you were actually leading with a fairly comfortable $4,000 or so coming into this event. How did that feel, and what did that mean for your game plan? Um, that's correct. I was leading around $3,700, $3,800, um, but it's never over until it's over. So uh, I, I came in thinking I, I just uh, needed to get a check or two, and um, I had a good horse. I knew I had a good horse. Uh, he's been a great horse all year long, very strong. So um, that was it. That was my game plan. Come in, do my job, let my horse do his job uh, the first day. Uh, two good cows. My third cow wasn't very good. Lost it right at the buzzer. Um, they even had to review it. But anyways, came back the second day, uh, uh, drew a little better, was able to cut some better cows, and we did very good. And your two scores for both go rounds? Um, I had a, a low score because of the losing the cow in the first go, which was ended up being uh, 201 and a half. And then I uh, marked a 222 in the second go. So I was able to pull off a check in the average as well. Well, well done. Thank you. Um, tell us about your horse. Okay, he is seven years old. I've had him all of his career, just about. We bought him as a three-year-old, and Roper Curtis showed him as a three-year-old, and then we sold him to a client, um, the Butlins. Brian Butlin showed him, had some success as a limited age event horse. And uh, I think he was reserve in the Pacific Coast Derby Amateur. Either won it or was reserve, I'm not sure. And then, in, anyways, we ended up selling him to Michelle LeMaster to be a novice horse uh, haul. So, and that's, that's what we did with him. Now, you've had an extremely successful year and world finals. You brought 16 horses here to compete. Tell us about your year. <laughs> Uh, 16 horses and everywhere I've gone everyone's like what how many horses did you bring here and um, so we've we've had a lot of horses on the road it's tough but it's a lot of fun a lot of great clients and um, we've done very well uh, 16 horses all in the top 15 of I have a horse at least one horse in every class uh, is there anybody else who could say that highly doubt it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I don't know the statistics, but, uh, but I think it's a, it's a great deal. Yeah. And um, being on the road with obviously a big team, you've had how many trucks on the road this year? Um, I've had three trucks plus clients uh, on the road. And um, uh, my partner, Roper Curtis, does all the organizing, the loping, the, uh, I mean, he works 24 hours a day. <laughs> so, and then um, a great group of girls. Uh, you can't do it without those, the help, you know. It takes a team. And then as um, someone used to say, it takes a village. <laughs> Not only that, though, it really speaks volume for you as a trainer to have, create this success and help them, uh, help others to enjoy this kind of um, results. Well... What I really enjoy about this sport and my job is I love to help the non-pros and the amateurs. And, um, and that's, that's what I love to do, and so I'm happy to do it, and I've got a clan of them. And, um, and they all are a good group, and they try hard, and we've had a successful year, and uh, it's really good. So how's look next year looking? Well, a little time off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, you know I, I'm still going to show. Uh, we have a lot of shows in Arizona and Southern California. Uh, we will do those. We're just not going to hit every show that we have to. We're going to go to the shows that we want to. Well, congratulations and job well done. Thank you very much.